So, Season 4 is coming, and we have 8 new artifacts confirmed in this last dev video that we're going to get to play with. 4 of them we got to take a look at, and 4 of them we didn't get to see. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about those 4 that we did get to see, and what potential builds, or how good or bad they could be. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about the 4 that we didn't see, because we did get a few hints as to what we might be getting. Anyhow, the first one on the list is the Bolt Caster, and I wanted to talk about this guy first because Bow is probably the most popular weapon in OPR. I think it's hard to have an OPR match where you don't see at least one person running Bow. And this new one is going to turn 99% of your damage into lightning damage and give you that 20% damage increase on both weapons. Now it doesn't state it in the artifact here, but in the dev video, uh, they do talk about how this artifact will also cause a stun if you hit an opponent that is at max health. Yeah, I feel like this bow artifact is going to be incredibly good. If you land that stun and it has a long enough duration, you can just follow it up with massive burst on an opponent who is not going to be able to avoid it. On top of it, Lightning is a pretty rare damage type that not a lot of people run. However, Bow will be affected by Elemental Aversion if you take this route. So, kind of an interesting uh, damage type change for Bow. Something that I did want to talk about is the potential for Bow Rapier with a build like this. I can imagine that people are going to want to try 150 intel with this kind of a bow. And that means that if you have a Rapier that has a lightning damage gem on it, you could be looking at some pretty nasty Rapier damage on a bow build. So that's kind of exciting. I myself haven't really played bow very much in PvP and Rapier is my favorite weapon. So this is definitely one that I think I'm going to want to get my hands on at least. Next up, we've got Vengeance, the Life Staff. This was teased a little bit before Season 3 came out, but we didn't actually see it uh, release with Season 3. But we're going to get it in Season 4, and this is a DPS-focused Life Staff, it looks like. When you successfully heal someone, you'll gain 1% damage for 10 seconds, stacking up to 20 times. So I imagine if you're healing a lot of players, it'll be very easy to get this damage stack all the way up there. That being said, I'm curious how useful of an artifact this will be because a lot of healers aren't focused on dealing damage and if you wanted to have a little bit more utility, you could run a different artifact weapon on your back bar versus just running the damage life staff. That being said, we don't get to see all the perks that this artifact will have. Like something like the Abyss, it could have a unique uh, additional perk on here that we haven't seen yet, so it could have a little bit more function or utility than we we're kind of letting on to here, but... Yeah, I'm curious how many people will actually want to run this. I don't play a healer, but it seems like dealing damage isn't necessarily the number one focus of the healer. So healers out there, let me know what you guys think about this one. And we are getting a round shield, the gladiator, and this is going to inflict a bleed when a melee opponent hits you. And we do get to see the rest of the perks that this has. Uh, diminishing shield bash and fortifying shield rush on the weapon is kind of nice. And then we've got Keenly Empowered and what looks like either Keen or Vicious as the final perk on the bottom. They didn't actually show it to us, but just judging by the icon there, that's what I'm guessing is going to be down there. Now, I am curious whether that bleed will be applied if you just block an attack or do you actually have to take damage for it. That'll have a big impact on what kind of builds people use this shield for because the round shield is not a great blocking shield versus your other kind of weighted shield options, but it still has a better block than most other weapons. So whether it applies on block or not is going to have a pretty big impact on how useful of an item this is going to be. And the last artifact that we got to see is the Quick Draw Gloves. New Light Armor Gloves. And they're going to give you immunity to damage for half a second when you weapon swap on a 12 second cooldown. Now, this one, I don't really know what to think about. I'll be honest. Because I'm kind of drawn. Half a second of immunity is not a long time and 12 seconds is a pretty decent cooldown. But immunity to damage is huge in this game. It'll allow you to soak up a massive smack from something like a boss or a huge combo from a player. Just for that moment, if you time it right, you can completely shut down that damage. I'm very curious how good this is going to be because if people time it well, this could be crazy good and if it's timed poorly, you will get literally nothing out of this artifact. Yeah, this one here, I, I want to try. I'm very, very interested in. And that was all the artifacts that we actually got to see the stats for. That being said, in the video where they showed off these artifacts, they did have all eight of the new artifacts in their character's bag. 
So we can confirm that two of the new artifacts are going to be boots, one of them is going to be legs, and last but not least, we are gonna get an artifact ice gauntlet, finishing off all the weapons, and well, I like playing ice gauntlet, so I'm excited to see what we actually get for that weapon. And that's it guys, that's all the info we got on these new artifacts. If you guys want to see the entire dev update video, again, there's a link down below to it. Um, there's more info in there than what I covered here, I just wanted to cover the artifacts for you guys. I would also love to know what you guys think about these, which ones are you excited for, what kind of builds are you looking forward to trying with these kinds of weapons and uh, artifact items that we get. Yeah, I'm excited man, I hope every new season we get at least a few new artifacts with it. So seeing 8 come with the next season after the artifacts were introduced, that is a very nice number for me. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Of course, if you want to check out some build guides from me, it's on my website, pvpnewworld.com. There's a link to my Twitch down below if you want to catch the odd live stream. And if you have an awesome clip that you want to send into the New World Top 5 Fights, you can send that to Christopher at pvpnewworld.com. A big thank you to our sponsor, ExpressVPN. They can help keep you safe on the internet, and y'all can get a deal with them thanks to the link down below. And of course, a big thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Whether you've supported in the past, whether you're supporting now, thank you guys so much for keeping the show going. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you next time.